Hi and welcome to another video from the CTAG clinic. My name is Dr Mike Lloyd and I'm the clinic director. I'm going to do a short video today just looking at a uh, comment that was raised by one of the subscribers in the comment section of a previous video. This was when the, the person was saying that they felt that they were too old and it was too late for them to be able to access or have the resources to, to fund or support long-term therapy, which can often be you know one, two, three years, maybe more for some people with dissociative identity disorder, also known as DID. And I put a comment into that section to say that hope is not lost, that there are things that can be done. And I thought actually a video on this might be quite helpful to people, certainly in the older age brackets who are looking at this, who may have finally realised that they have DID for the first time, been recently diagnosed and are feeling that it's just too late, don't have the money or the, uh, the time or it's just not going to work out and they're going to have to suffer with this for the rest of their lives. And I think that that might not be the case. Um, so really what I wanted to say today is that, yes, it might be that it's going to be impossible to fund or support like three years of long term intensive therapy for DID to get to the end point where you have no DID and everything is fine and, and, and the world is much better. It might be realistic to say that that is not possible, but it doesn't mean that nothing is possible. What's important is finding the right therapist. That's what this will absolutely come down to being about. Because if you find the right person, it might be that even if you've only got six sessions or 12 sessions or 20 sessions, you can only devote three months or six months towards this work, change can take place. We have shown within our clinic and within research that we've done that in a short space of time, changes can take place. It might be only 15, 20 sessions, but significant things can happen. The key is developing a good relationship with that therapist and setting a very, very clear goal about something that is a barrier to functionality in everyday life. It's not about the big picture. It would be great to think that we can always address the big picture in therapy, but sometimes we can't. Sometimes it only comes down to being able to sort out one small thing, but that thing might be important. So it could be that there is still time and there is still the support and facilities available to focus on something that the DID has caused an impediment on in everyday life that needs changing. It might be a specific internal communication with a particular alter. It might be not being able to eat a certain thing. It might be not being able to go into a certain room. It might be about not being able to sleep at night. And an intervention with a good therapist who is understanding about DID can absolutely focus in on that and use tools and interventions and education and encouragement and support to develop change. I have seen this done. So within the context of long term therapies, there have been many times when I have put together a small package of change for a person to either say help them go out into a place that they couldn't do, to speak to a person that they weren't able to do, or to hear an altar that's inside, or to change the behavior of a specific altar for a specific reason in a certain place. And although that might be small in terms of the big scheme of things, if it brings about change for that person, it can be an absolute relief for them. And it can be eye opening to know that they are able to then to start building on this themselves with self help tools and guides, having that encouragement of therapy so that change from DID takes place every day maybe just a minute here, maybe a minute there. So over the course of a long time outside of therapy, enormous change can take place. So all hope is not lost. So for the person who put that comment down there, I really hope that you are able to find the confidence and the will to be able to try and have a go with a good therapist who is absolutely understanding of where you're at to focus in on something and address a concern that has been nagging away in the background, maybe for years and years and years. Because to change that is like taking the small stone out of the shoe. It doesn't really affect the walk in a big way, but it does make it a lot more tolerable. And if that's possible, then I think good luck. And I really hope that that's, that's able to take place. Again, hope that this has been useful. It's a, it's a very important issue for many, many people. Um, and with a bit of luck and a bit of encouragement, maybe some change might take place in the future. If not, don't worry about it. Keep doing the thing that you're able to do. But if there is an opportunity, please don't think that it's too late because I really don't think it would be. Okay, so we're going to finish up now. And until the next video, please do take great care.